Okay, doing the walkthrough of the Rustic Trail Teardrop Camper I picked up this weekend in North Carolina. I got the Kodiak Stealth Adventure Edition, which has some pretty cool features. It's got a couple of these on the back on each side for tie outs. Here's what the back looks like. Got a hitch, which is nice, a rear hitch. Stabilizing jacks, turn signals, rear lights. This is kind of cool. We've got a storage area in here. A hatch that goes all the way through to the other side. That's underneath the platform of the bed. That's actually an access, an interior access to the storage. And what's nice about this actually is this little thing here is a magnet. So when you open it, it stays open. And this is an all-terrain tire. The wheel well is strong enough to stand on. These are brackets to stick a table in, an exterior table. I'll show you here in a second. The windows are nice and big. They slide. There's a screen that slides. And the window slides and locks. Comes with an ARB awning. Roof rack. Exterior light. It's hooked up to a battery. Because I got the battery option. A handle. An outdoor outlet. So if you want to put a coffee maker or something else on the table out here, you've got that. They give you a nice stool. This is actually a nice step stool because it, it folds down. It's pretty sturdy. The door has the magnet on it also, so when you open it all the way, it stays open. And it has a screen door, which is really nice. The window shade will come up and down stiff right now but and the door has a deadbolt so going inside the interior we have an l-shaped platform so I have my mattress there put a dog bed up there the battery that it comes with and charges while you're driving also has is attached to the USB ports back here again two sliding windows that are nice and big. The screen opens up too, which is nice. Same thing with this one over here. Underneath the bed, this platform has some additional storage in it. This storage section actually has the battery, some extra room, and this space here, just extra storage, but there are two accesses to it from above and the door here. Here's the front. It has air conditioning that includes a dehumidifier. Shelf. Some cabinets. With some extra storage here. And of course the dog bowls. And a couple drawers. This is where we've got the fuse panel, and that's actually solar, a solar insert, so if you want to charge the battery up with solar panels, you can connect those up. That was another option that I went with. And this is the access, slide this up, and you have access to the storage from the interior. We also have a max air vent, which is nice. Right now it's up to let the hot air out, but it's got some different features that can, you can reverse the fan to blow in or out. And it comes with four interior lights, bright LEDs, two of them are bright LEDs, and two of them are actually red night lights, which you can make into regular lights also. On the exterior, we also have the insert above the magnet 
that's the insert for the solar panel connector and I opted for a cool trapezoidal designed box for extra storage it's pretty sturdy it comes with keys to lock it. I didn't want the rectangular one it also comes with this cool lock and roll hitch that articulates so that when I'm on bumpy roads it doesn't pull weight and strain on the hitch of the vehicle. That's a cover on the AC unit. An e-brake. Very nice sturdy electrical setup. I like that. And this is the other side. Nothing too fancy, regular size spare tire. Input for your shore power. And that's about it over here. Here's the exterior table that comes with it as an option. You got one of the legs up. I just wanted to show you this leg when it comes down. Slides up, it goes down, locks into place.